Today's Swarf and Chips, me and Thomas travel to Northampton and we're going to be looking around Cosworth Limited. Can you believe what's behind this door? No, there's some amazing things behind this door. So, should we go and have a look? Definitely. Do you want to come with? Is 700 tools enough? Well, for Cosworth, no. Because they have 700 tools in their tool room, plus 100 tools in each machine. But this tool room's really clever because if the system detects you have a broken tool in your machine, then to keep your machine running, the robot will take the broken tool out, bring it back to the storeroom, find another tool, and then load it straight in. So your machine is straight back up and running. This system is so easy to load as well, as you can load your tools onto a trolley, which is then pushed in, and then from there, you can tell it if you want to load them tools into this, into this system, or if you want them to go into a set machine. But talking about how clever this is, if you have a tool in one of your machines, and the machine next to it needs that tool, then the robot will pick the tool out of one machine and place it straight into the next. It doesn't need to come back to the home position. So we're going to now jump over to Chloe and find out what happens once these tools have been loaded. So this is where all the tooling comes from. So there's 11 machines in this system run by a Fastums automation cell. So as you can see, it goes on so far back, but there's so much more to see. So what we've got here is a Fastums system which runs 11 machines, two five axis, um, and the rest are four axis. And as, as you can see, they're all Matsoras. Um, and just Chris, please come and have a look at the vast, just, I can't believe it. When we walked in today, I just wasn't expecting this. So uh, John from Cosworth, it was recently invested, not recently, 2015. It was built with the, um, with the place here. And he says it's just a fantastic way of creating engine blocks, doing all the fast work that he needs. As, and as Tom was saying, it's 700 tools. How many tools are going to be in these machines? It's just absolutely crazy. So what we're doing on here is we're pallet changing. Uh, the robot is bringing pallets, scanning jobs, knowing exactly what they're doing, creating these engine blocks, milling them out, boring them out. And then the next process after this process is the coating. And that's where Tom's going to be taking you. Now we're on to the next process, which to be honest, I feel like I'm in a whirlwind. It's so windy in here and so loud. But the next process, you can't put a piston straight into a aluminium cylinder body because the piston moving at such a high rate would melt it. So Cosworth have devised a new technique where they actually spray molten metal into that housing, which is then machined after. But that is actually done using this. Now this is, is essentially like a welding torch where at the bottom it creates an arc. As that's arcing, metal is then fed through as a powder, through this little nozzle, hits the arc, which then turns it into molten and as a spray. This is then sprayed around the housing. After that's been done, they take the part and they hone it to give it the perfect finish, the perfect tolerance, but also, it's also got the rigidity and the strength to take the heat from the piston. But obviously, this can create a mess over your entire part. So now we're gonna head over to Chloe to find out how they actually clean the part after this process. I know you've seen a wash down, but have you seen this wash down? After we've powder coated everything, we need to just make sure we've got all the dust, all the indiscrepancies off the part. I'm going to press go. They've actually trusted me to press go. So if it all goes wrong, John's going to be really angry with me. So let's come across here, press OK, and it should work. So what this robot does is it comes and picks up the part, as you can see, comes in, clamps, takes it away. And what's going to happen is it's going to be like a scene from the movie, I don't know, Transformers. Just watch this. Watch what amazing it does. It's all intense, look. So it takes off that, um, the ABB robot takes, uh, let's go of that part and oh my gosh. This robot's gonna come out of the wash down, pick up this part and this means the robot can integrate the part into so many axes to get all the water in there down the holes, down the crevices 
and there it goes. Have you ever seen anything quite like that? Because I haven't. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to pass over to Tom, who after this washdown is going to be going through the inspection. Now inspection is a big thing for Cosworth. They have an entire inspection department, which I'm afraid we can't show because of NDAs, but every time a engine block has done any sort of machining, so after every process, it is re-inspected so that they can keep track of every single part of that process from start to finish. But what's quite good and what I really like about Cosworth as well is even after all that inspecting, it's gone through all the factory, the very last thing that is done is a manual inspection by the guys behind me. Now, I'm afraid we can't get any closer because they're doing stuff under NDAs as well, which, but these guys are checking for anything and everything visually to make sure it's all chamfered, everything, all the holes are right, all the taps are deep enough, um, there's no marks or defects. So this is actually a part we've got here which is finished, which we, I should say this looks incredible, but as you can see, every hole is chamfered, every part has had a chamfer run through it, all the taps are being cleaned out. So that now is actually ready for a customer and they know that once it's been through the manual inspection, that there can be nothing wrong with that part. And when the customer gets it, the customer should be happy. Now, as you can see, this entire building is one fast M cell, which stretches the whole length of the building. That has actually been specifically designed to get parts in and out and to the customer as fast as possible. Now, I hope you have been as impressed as I have on this incredible facility.